All right, guys. So now we're gonna go on and finish the uh, the roof areas. That's the ceiling. So there are pieces of planks in here, and because I used the denoise node after rendering this scene, so you can see the planks are not really visible in these areas because there was a lot of noise over there. So there are actually planks in here that are that are cut around this side right here. So they are cut diagonally from here to the top. So I think there's about four planks over here. So we're gonna go ahead and create that over here. I want to create it down here as well, all around. So let's go on and begin this. So what I want to do is, I'm going to go to this side right here. I want to go into edit mode of this uh, piece over here. I want to take this edge right here. I want to press Shift and D and then Y. Move it out to about this point. I want to press E and then Y. Extrude this all the way to about there. So I want to take that whole piece, press P, and separate the selection to make it its own object. <coughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do now is to take this edge over here, I want to pull it out until it's pretty close to the edge we have over here. So I have just a tiny bit of space in there like that. Alright, so that's good. Now what I'm going to do now is to just take this end over here and then extrude it all the way inside to about there. Alright. Let me just pull it out a bit more to about there. Alright, so like I said, it's about four planks in the middle here, so I think one, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in, <clears throat> I'm going to press Ctrl and R, and add in three loop cuts in the middle, like that. And I'm going to bevel this with Ctrl B. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of gap between each of them, just like that. And now let's delete those faces. <clears throat> Alright, so with that, then we're going to take everything, and I'm going to extrude it in the z-axis, just a bit. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. Alright, so you can see what we have for this side. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for all the ones that go around it. Alright, so uh, let me see. Uh, what are we going to do for this side? Alright, so instead of making this a diagonal cut, which you can go ahead and do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it end over here. And I'm going to start from this point all the way back just to make our work much simpler. But if you want, you can go ahead and cut it diagonally like I have in a like I have an image right here. So I'm just going to go in and keep it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to take this face right here. I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate it. Right click to keep it in place and I'm going to press R and Z and type in 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm just going to pull this out to about this point. Let me just zoom in so I can see this much better. Yeah, so I'm just going to pull it back a bit more and let me just pull it in the X axis to about there. Alright, so all I'm going to do now is to extrude this in the y-axis all the way back to, let me take a look here, I mean here, alright, so I'm just going to extrude it back to the plank right here, so pretty close to it, it should not intersect, just close to it like that. Alright, so I'm going to take all of this piece here, and I'm just going to duplicate it in the x-axis, press Shift and D and then X, and now we can press Shift and R. To duplicate it. I think we have to duplicate it more. So shift and R and R. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So just make sure it covers this area very nicely like that. Alright, so you can see what it's looking like right now, but you can go ahead and then cut it. Like I said, you can go ahead and make it a cutout of a diagonal if you want, but I'm just going to keep it this way just for, uh, just so I can uh, finish the tutorial much quickly. Alright, so we can go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So let me just go into edit mode and let me take this piece over here, right? I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here and bring it pretty close to this side, right? Like that. And I'm going to take this face over here. That's this face. And I'm going to extrude that face in the X axis. Yeah, I think it's in the X axis. All the way to that end. So let me just zoom in a bit more and let me just pull it pretty close to it, like that. Alright, nice. So now what I'm going to do now is to go into edit mode and I'm going to take this face right here. I'm going to press Shift and D and then X and move this out to about here. So let's go into solid view. I'm going to move it in a Y axis to about that point. Let me zoom in a bit more. I'm going to just pull it out in the X axis to about that point and pull it back in the Y axis to about that point. All right, so now I'm going to extrude it in the X axis all the way back into that wall over there. And I'm going to take everything and like we did with the first one, we're just going to duplicate this multiple times. So Shift and ND and then Y, just move it until you have a tiny space in there, like that. And I'm going to press Shift and R to duplicate 
the command all the way to the other end, just like that. All right, so nice. So that finish it, finishes it for the top area. We're gonna do the same thing down here. So all that I'm gonna do is to just take that plank again, just take one of the planks, just like that. Just press L while your mouse is hovered over it to select it all. I'm gonna press Shift and D and then Z and pull it down to about this point. I'm gonna move it in the x-axis all the way to about somewhere there like that. All right, let me just go over to the side and I'm gonna pull it G and then Y and move it in the y-axis close to the end like that. So uh, let me go into wireframe and I'm going to go into vertex select mode. I'm gonna select these vertices here and pull them in the x-axis all the way to here. And I'm gonna take this one as well, pull it out all the way to there. So let me just zoom into this area so we can uh, get much more visibility. So I'm gonna take the whole thing by pressing L while hovered over that vertex. I'm gonna press G and then X, sorry, G and then Y and move this in a bit and then G and then Z and move this up to about there. Just let it go beyond it just a little bit like that. All right, now let me take a look at this area right here. All right, so we gotta pull it out a bit more. So I'm gonna pull it out just a bit more to about there. Uh, I do think the space is too much though. Was that my mistake or it's pretty small in this area? I feel like it's quite bigger on this side, which it is. I don't know how that happened, but I think I'm just gonna keep it that way. All right, so let's take the whole thing. Hold on, I feel like I'm just take all this real quick, these like this, and press S and Y and type in zero. Yeah, it's not slanted in any way. So it might probably be from that area or I'm just seeing things differently. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is to just take this piece, come on. I'm just gonna take this piece right here. Let me zoom into this area. And take that whole piece. I wanna press Shift and D. It's a pretty big gap though. Let me pull it in a bit, just like that. All right, so I wanna press Shift and D and then Y and move this pretty close to this side. Like this, just leave a tiny gap in there. And, and now we're gonna press Shift and R to duplicate the command all the way to that point right there. All right, so just like we did with the top, we're gonna take this side now. I wanna press Shift and D and rotate it in the Z axis by 90. And let's just pull it out to about this side and pull it in the X axis, I think. Yeah, to about that point like that. All right, so now that we're gonna do now is to extrude this in the Y axis all the way back there, like that. Let me just zoom into this area so I can see this much better. So I'm just gonna pull it back to about that point. And I think that's pretty good. All right, now we can take that whole plant now and then shift and D this in the X axis. Leave a tiny gap in there, just like that. And then press shift and R to duplicate it in there. All right, very nice. Okay, so I think which side is next? This side right here. All right, so, okay, I'm really getting lost in my own work. Yeah, so I'm gonna take this plank over here as well. So let's just take one of the planks here by pressing L while hovered over it. And let's press Shift and D and then move this in the X axis to about this point. All right, so let's zoom in a bit. I'm gonna pull it in the Y axis and pull it down in the Z axis all the way down to about there. All right, so that's pretty good. Let me just pull it out a bit. Just like that, and G and then Z, pull it down a bit more. All right, so I guess that is looking good. Okay, so I'm just going to wire and take all of these vertices here and pull it inwards a bit to about that point. And I'm going to take the one on this side as well and pull it out in the x axis all the way to the other end. Let me just zoom into that area. And let me just pull it out all the way to that end, like that. Let me just pull it in a bit more, and that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to take all of that piece and press Shift and D and then Y, and move this in the Y axis just a bit. I've got in between the two, and I'm just going to press Shift and R to duplicate this twice, just like that. All right, nice. So now all that we got to do now is to do the same thing from here all the way to the back. So I'm just going to take these two, I mean this face here, and uh, let me just press, let me make this the active element, right? I want to change the pivoting point to active element, 
I'm going to press shift in D, rotate in the z-axis, and type in negative 90, just like that. All right, so now let me zoom into that area. And all that we have to do now is just move it out just a bit like that. And now we can extrude it in the y-axis all the way to the back like that. Let me just zoom into that area now. All right, nice. So I'm just going to pull it back to about this point. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And I want to take that whole plank now. I'm going to press shift in D and then X and move this back to about here. I think that's good. And now let's press shift in R twice just to fill in that area. All right, so I think we have to fix the back now. Uh, not that it's giving much issues, but you can see it's, I mean, there's a space here into the room. So if you don't fill that area, what is going to happen is there's light going to be going through this side into the room. So first, what I want to do is I want to take this piece over here and I want to move it down in the Z axis a bit more. So I'm just going to move this down in the Z axis all the way to about there. All right, nice. So now I'm going to pull this side down even more, but it doesn't really matter because it's on the back of the building. But you can go ahead and then uh, fix that area if you want. But I'm just going to leave it that way. So let's fill this area as well. Even though it's the back of the building, if you don't cover it up, the light is going to be leaking into that area. So let's go ahead and fix it real quick. So I'm going to take this face, with this being the active element, and I'm going to press Shift and D, and then rotate in the Z axis and type in negative 90. Let me just zoom into that area now. I'm going to move it in the x-axis just a bit. And I'm going to extrude it in the x-axis all the way to the back. Like that. So uh, I think we got to pull it back a bit more. So let me just pull it back to about here. Let me take this vertex. Sorry, not that one. This one. And press S and an X and type in 0. Just like that. And now I'm going to take this plank right here. By pressing L, and I'm going to press Shift and D and move this in the Y axis. So we have just a bit of gap in between the two. And I'm going to press Shift and R to duplicate it three times, I think. Yeah, three times. All right, nice. So you can see the window is actually uh, <coughs> leaking through these planks over here. And I think that's because we pulled this side all the way down. So what you can go ahead and do is to just cut the planks around here and extrude it up. And then to meet this one over here, like we're going to do over here right now. <coughs> So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take all of these now, and just take all of those. Alright, with this being, any of the top ones being the active element, and I'm going to press Shift in D, and rotate in the Y axis, and type in negative 90. Just like that. And now all we're going to do is to extrude it in the Z axis, all the way up. Just like that. So you can go ahead and shift this edge over here behind this window over here just so it doesn't uh, intersect with it. But I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Alright, so I think the area that we have left now is this area right here. We have to fill that area as well. Alright, so let me just go in here and take the faces here, one of the faces here. And I'm going to press shift in D and move this in the x-axis all the way to about here. And let me move it in the y-axis to meet this side right here, like that. Let me just move it in the y-axis a bit. And let me move this in the x-axis all the way back to about there. And I'm going to press E and X and extrude this all the way forward to about that point. And I'm going to take that whole plank now and then press Shift in D and move it in the y-axis just a bit like that. And I'm going to press Shift in R twice just to fill that area very nicely. All right, so now all that is left is this area down here. That is there. Uh, this area down here. So we just got to do that side and that's all That's all we have to do. All right, so again, I'm going to take this face here, shift in D, move this in the Z axis all the way down to about there. And just pull it up in the Z axis a bit. All right, now I'm going to move it in the Y axis all the way back to about somewhere there like that. And let me just move it in the X axis till it goes into the wall just like that. And I'm going to press E and extrude this in the Y axis, no, I mean in the X axis, all the way to the other side, just like that. And I'm going to take the whole plant now. And I'm going to press Shift in D and move this in the Y axis. And we just have to duplicate it one more time by pressing Shift in R. And there we go. Alright, so you can see what it looks like, that whole uh, area being filled. And yeah. It's looking really great. So one more thing before I actually end the video. 
or maybe we have to do a few more things let's just go up here real quick and let me go into edit mode i'm gonna press ctrl and r through here and i just want to add in a bit of a gap in between here as you can see up here so i'm just gonna press let me just zoom in i'm gonna press ctrl and b just to add a tiny bit of gap in there press x and delete the faces now let's take each of those edges there press f on this and take this one as well and press f just to fill those areas so we can have that tiny gap in there <coughs> all right so the last thing I want us to do before we end this video is this piece is here. This piece up here, this one right here, and this one all the way here. So we got to do those quickly and then end the video. So let's go ahead and go into edit mode of this one right here. And I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. Move it all the way up to about this side, like this. I think that is about right. And just move it down a bit more. And I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate this. And I'm going to press P to separate it. Now let's dissolve the one we added in. And let's go out and take this one right here. So let's go into edit mode. Let's get rid of some of the vertices we don't need. And I think this is one of them. Now we only have four. I think there's one more on this side. Let's just get rid of it. And now we can go ahead and do this. So let me just uh, extrude this in the Z axis all the way to the top like that. And all that we have to do now is to just add in a solidify modifier to this piece right here. So let's go ahead and add in a solidify modifier. And of course we have to flip the, uh, the normals like that by pressing shift and N. Alright, so let me just go in here and let's enable the inside on here just to add in the, the solidify towards the outside. Alright, so I'm just going to increase this to, let me try 0.05. I think that's, is that pretty big enough? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty big enough. So I'm going to keep it that way. And let me just take that piece and let's enable even thickness, just like that. And let me drop this down a bit more to 0.03, just like that. And we're just going to apply it. Alright, so there we go. Now I'm just going to take that piece and then take this. And I'm just going to press Ctrl and J to join them. Alright, so all that is left is this area right here. That's this, this, and this. So let me just get over here. Let me do the same thing with this side. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. And then Shift and D. And press P to separate the selection. And I'm going to dissolve this now. Well, dissolve the vertices. I mean the edges. And now let's take that one over there and let's get rid of the extra vertices in here that we don't need. You see, we have two more over here as well. All right, so now we can go ahead and extrude this in the z-axis. Nope, extrude in the z-axis all the way up like that. And let me just take this pressure to D and move it in the z-axis all the way here. And I'm going to extrude this down. Let me just press G and then Z, move it up to about somewhere here, extrude it in the Z axis all the way down to about there. And I'm going to take everything and press P and separate the selection. We're going to use that for something else later. All right, so let's take this now and let's take everything, press it and N to recalculate the normals and make sure you enable inside right here. And now let's add in the solidify modifier. All right, and now let's enable even thickness. And then let's type in 0 0.03 in here. All right, there we go. Now we can apply the solidify modifier and join that object to this one right here. All right, very nice. So we can go ahead and do this piece over here. Let me just take this, go into edit mode, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this edge over here, press V to split it like that, and let me just move this in the x-axis all the way back to about this side. And let me get to the back here. First off, let me take this and pull it back as well to about there. And let me just get to the back here, and let me take this, press V to separate it, I'm going to move it in the x-axis all the way to about here. And I'm going to take this one as well, move it back to about there. All right, so now, as you may have guessed, you can see this one is much smaller. So I'm just going to pull it down to about that small size, just like that. All right, so now all that we have to do is to just take this. All right, and uh, let me see. Let me try let me try doing this first. So I'm gonna extrude this in the x-axis. Make sure this is the active element. Press S and then X and type in zero like that. Or you know what? Let me let me delete that vertices. Let's do this by hand. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh I'm just press Ctrl and R through here. Alright. Add in an edge loop over here and add one in here as well, like this. And I wanna take let me just take this now. Press G twice and slide it in. A bit and I'm going to take one, two, three. Make sure this is the last element selected. I'm going to press Alt and M and then merge it. Sorry, just M and then merge it at last, just like that. 
All right, so all that I'm gonna do now is to add in two over here. I think, I'm not sure. Let me add in about uh, 12 of these. And then let me just dissolve the ones at the top and the bottom. I mean, leave those ones and dissolve the rest. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this face now. All right, I'm gonna press Alt and S just to shrink it out a bit like that. All right, so you can see how nice that is looking. Hold on, I think we have a, f a bit of a, bit of an issue here. All right, so let me just shrink it out a bit. And I'm gonna take this face right here and pull it in the Y axis, just like that. And I think we're pretty good. All right, nice. That is looking great. So I'm just gonna press Control and R3 here now, just like this. And let's just pull that out a bit as well, just a bit, like that. And of course we have to take this face as well and pull it out, just like that. All right, so that's looking great for that side. Now all that I'm gonna do is to just take this whole piece here, all right? And uh, I think, uh, you know what, let's finish the whole thing first. Now let's go over here as well, and we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. So Control and R through here, like this, and Control and R through here, like that. And I'm gonna take both of these vertices, with this being the last selection, I'm gonna press M. I'm gonna press M and merge it at the last, like that. And now, let's just take this, Let's add in as many vertices as we can. First of all, let's go to edge select mode and add in uh, a lot of vertices as we can now. I mean, edge loops all the way to about there. And then let's deselect the top and the bottom and dissolve the rest of the edges. All right, so now I'm gonna take both of those being the face. So I'm gonna take all of that face in there, just like that. And I'm gonna press Alt and S to pull it out a bit. I think we're gonna have to do the same with the face over here. Just pull it out, G and then Y, I mean X, and pull it out to about there. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing, adding two, press alternate S, pull it out like that. And I'm gonna take that face now, come on. And I'm gonna pull it out in the X axis as well. All right, very nice. So all I'm gonna do now is to just take the whole thing, press Alt and S, or maybe let's just kill it, Shift and Z, just kill it up a bit, just like that. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna do this one by one. So let me just take this extruded in the, extrude in the x-axis, all the way back here into that area, and I'm just gonna take this in that now, extrude it in the y-axis, all the way in there, like that. And I'm gonna take this vertex and move it in the x-axis just a bit. And I'm gonna take this vertex right here, in that vertex, and press F. That's it. So that's it for that area. Let me take a look here. All right. Uh, let me just extrude this in the Y axis, and take one, two, three, four, and press F. All right, nice. So I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing here. So I'm just going to edit mode. Take one, two, and extrude it in the Y axis all the way in there. And I'm going to take 1 and 2. And I'm going to extrude this in the X axis in there like that. And I'm going to take this press G and move it in the Y axis. And I can take 1 and 2 and press F. And that's pretty much it. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is to have you guys do this one on your own. I'm not going to do it with you guys in this video. So I'm going to leave that for you guys to do it on your own. So I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next video, I'm going to have that done. So make sure you have it done too, before we can move on to the next thing. So I'll see you guys in the next video.